AITA for not giving my son more allowance even though he is going hungry at practice. Okay I'll sit down with him tonight and show him how to pack a breakfast I feel like that's going to go over extremely poorly since he is 15 and I am basically saying he doesn't know how to put fruit or other stuff in a bag. We have breakfast bars, protein bars, single serve cereal boxes, the standard bagels, eggs, pop tarts, those breakfast bowls, and a ton of fruit, bananas, strawberries and so on. All from a comment, we have plenty of food he can pack for after or just eat breakfast at home. Also I'm not going to force my daughter to eat breakfast if they are not hungry in the morning. That horrible idea. I came here because I am annoyed. Maybe I am wrong but this situation is odd. Everyone in the family get an allowance. My son, 15, is in swim and he has to be there at 5.45 three times a week. It's morning practice and then he goes to school. Now he usually will buy breakfast from the school cafe and then all his money is gone. My daughters don't buy breakfast and just will eat before school or skip. So their allowance is mostly saved or used for the movies or something. My son came to me and asked for more allowance due to being hungry I told him no and that he can eat before or pack something. We got in a huge argument. He thinks I am a jerk and now my ex is on my ass about it. Am I being unreasonable? YTA. But not for the money. Your son is struggling with planning. It's your job as a parent to work with the 15 year old and help him plan. Why not make breakfast the night before? You can help him make that part of his routine. Hard boil a few eggs. Teach him to make a frittata on Sundays. Which would last most of the week. Help him back a bagel and cream cheese. You can get him a small lunchbox with an ice pack so all of that stays cool. Stop watching your son struggle and help him by guiding his planning. Info. Is there a fast, filling, high-protein breakfast available to him to grab at 530 am on his way out the door? Info. Do you want to discourage his swimming? Or encourage it? Swimming burns huge calories. And swimming many laps on a full heavy stomach isn't pleasant. So what is in the house that's going to fill those needs? Is there something he can take that will be a substantial, huge, teen breakfast for after swimming practice? And no, a sandwich or bowl of cereal is not enough calories to replace an hour of swimming first thing in the morning. And is that breakfast ready to load into his bag at 520 am as he walks out the door? Edit for judgment. YTA. You say he can eat cereal or toast. Neither of which works for an easy meal after an hour of swimming. And he'd need 6 or 7 bowls of cereal. Or 10 pieces of toast to make up for the calories lost to swimming. Let alone the calories he needs as a growing teen to get through the morning until lunchtime. I think I'm just kind of confused I was packing my lunches for school way before 1-5. And I'd always do it the night before. Because who has time to do it the morning of? So, why doesn't 15 yo make a couple PB sandwiches the night before? Go to bed. Then grab them on his way out in the morning? Boom. Breakfast that he doesn't have to pay for that took him 5 minutes the night before to make. Edit and if we wanna get really nutritious. Use whole grain bread. Grab some beef jerky with lower sodium and a couple hard-boiled eggs for snacks to go with the sandwiches. Maybe an apple for something refreshing. Why can't he pack breakfast? My daughter is 14, she'll be 15 in two months. Most days she can make herself breakfast but she has a lot going on at school and with sports. I'm her mom, so if I want to make sure she's eating, I pack it for her. She has enough going on in the morning and I'm already packing lunch for my 4 year old. Your son is going through a lot of time management learning right now. It sounds like he just needs a little more help. YTA kids should not have to use their allowance to eat. 
Making sure your child is fed is the most basic job of parenting. Even if he ate before practice, he would likely still be hungry afterwards as one. Most people are hungry after physical exertion and two. He's a teenage boy. They eat, a lot. You act like he's blowing money on comic books when he's just feeding himself. FFS YTA parents buy meals. Allowances for snacks. My daughters will eat before school or skip. So their allowance is mostly saved. Why is skipping multiple meals okay with you? None of your children should be skipping meals. That's called disordered eating. YTA. If he has the option to eat at home or you give him food to take. Then he needs to suck it up. Got a budget. But you can't withhold food from him. I could see not wanting to eat before swimming. So perhaps you could help brainstorm with him what to pack and how to do it for the first week. Do it with him for a week and then he should be able to do it on his own. You still need to make sure he has access to the calories he needs for his athletic activities. YTA. It sounds like it's not really practical for him to eat before swim. And as a result he's forced into a more expensive breakfast option than your daughters are able OT. Make use of. It's fairly disgusting. To be frank. That a parent of a teenager who attends school full time and has a rigorous physical activity. When told that child is going hungry. Feels the need to hold a firm line rather than. IDK. Make sure the kid is able to eat. FFS. Allowances for personal use not for basic necessities like food YTA. NTA, help him plan more. In ta, my spouse and I make our meals the night before. If it's good enough for us, it is for the kids as well. Food is freely available at home. If he doesn't like that, it's on him to use his money to buy something else which is what he has chosen. Seems like most of you here were never told no and given whatever you wanted. Both of my sons swam with competitive swim teams when they were 15-16 years old. They were both eating 10k calories a day to keep up with the amount of energy they were burning. They lifted weights at 5.30 am. Swam morning practice at 6.30 am. I fed them breakfast after weights and they then ate breakfast at school. When I picked them up from school I had almost a complete meal packed. Cheese. Fruit. Milk. Etc. Then they were at swim practice again from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. When I got them home. I made sure I had food ready. Crock pot. Or my youngest would be crying he was so hungry. What I'm getting at. If your son is serious about swimming. You should talk to his coach and get an idea of just how many calories the right kinds of calories he needs to be eating to not only be able to perform at a high level in his sport but also be able to function during the school day i don't think you're immediately an ah but you have a son engaged in a sport that exercises every muscle in his body including his brain take a bit of time to understand where he's at info how old are your daughters? Do you share custody of your son with your ex? How do they deal with swim day breakfast? NTA. Reddit is. Really weird about food. Unsurprised to see people calling you ta for not giving son all the money to buy when there's. Plenty of food in the apartment he can pack. This is one of those times where it's important to set good habits. It'll take a few minutes like less than 10? To pack something. If there is food available at home for him to take you or NTA. NTA. These comments are insane. He's 15 and should have the basic skills to pack food the night before. What's he going to do when he gets a job? Moves out? You are providing food. He is preferring convenience. That's on him. NTA. He can pack breakfast for himself. He is 15, not 5. 
He is choosing to use his allowance to buy breakfast instead of packing ahead of time and using his allowance for fun or saving. The allowance you are giving him is not for breakfast he should not be using it that way. I swam at 15 as well as track and cheerleading. I always packed a breakfast all by myself as well as an after-school meal. For between lunch and dinner. My parents did not do it for me. You don't need to do it for your son either. He is choosing to be lazy and waste his money when he has the option to make a nutritious breakfast. Himself at no cost all the YTA votes didn't need the post properly. Again NTA. NTA a 15 year old can learn. With parental support and guidance. How to meal plan to ensure they have proper nutrition for their day. The YTAs are kind of ridiculous. NTA. He can definitely pack a breakfast to eat after practice. He can get it together the night before. I imagine you're on a budget like we all are and if you give him extra you have to give your other kids extra too. The compromise is help him with this for the first couple weeks then he can do it on his own. We are talking about a high schooler here. He needs to start learning to be self-sufficient and meet his needs on his own with the tools provided in the home. In my house on the weekends we make easy to heat and eat breakfast foods for the week. Like mini breakfast burritos, kolaches, and breakfast sandwiches. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.